first times I discovered Chateauneuf du Pop was at a restaurant called Chanterelle in New York City. I'll never forget my first taste of what I thought was one of the best white wines in the world. Chateauneuf du Pop is this week's pack theme, and the reason I love it so much, it combines my favorite red grape Grenache in the red wines, and then a really delicious white style of wine that is pretty much not found anywhere else which is this waxy, rich, kind of intense, complex wine. It's a great alternative to Chardonnay. So in this pack, this week, we're exploring the region of Chateauneuf du Pop with both a white wine and a red wine, and I'm so excited for you to try it. Let's crack open it and pour that red bottle, shall we? So this is the producer, Domaine de Font de Michel, and we're drinking our red wine from Chateauneuf du Pop, and Font du Michel is the name of the spring located on the property. This wine is owned by the Gonet family, and the Gonet family have been in Chateauneuf du Pop since about the 15, 1500s. However, the winery was started in the 1880s. Um, for a while, actually, um, uh, Etienne Gonet was the mayor of Chateauneuf du Pop, so that's a fun fact. And Etienne uh, also married um, a member of the Brunet family, which the Brunet family you might know from the famous Vu Telegraph in Chateauneuf du Pop. So I feel like we have a lot of history and a lot of excellent wine people involved with this wine. And that's one of the reasons, along with the taste, that I loved it so much. So you know my favorite grape is Grenache, red grape that is. And this is 70% Grenache with a bit of Syrah, Morvedra, and Cinso, which are all um, classic grapes that are grown and blended with Grenache in Chateauneuf du Pop. Ooh, wow, it's, <laughs> this is a full-bodied red wine, and you can see that the color is a deep ruby, um, maybe even slightly opaque, sliding, um, fading to a slight pink edge. When you get the nose, it is the classic Mediterranean spice that I expect, almost um, what the French call garrigue, which is like this dried herb that you might find on the roads when you're driving through the area. The property also has an olive grove, and believe it or not, not because there's olives in the wine, but it does have that sense of sunshine, really ripe fruit, figs, raisins, dates, fresh black plums, fresh black cherries, and then that olive salty brininess that I come to love in Chateauneuf du Pop, especially this one because it has almost even like a meaty quality. And white pepper, black pepper, man, I haven't even tasted it. Mm. There's a reason that this wine is so good. Um, it's intense, it's long lived, it lasts long on your palate, and this one has been even open a couple of days and it's still drinking delicious. Chateauneuf de Pops are definitely meant to age, they're meant to drink right away, and they have an incredible lifespan even when the bottle is open. I hope you like new discoveries too. Um, for the most part, 95% of the wine produced in the Rhone Valley, and more specifically in the Southern Rhone, is red wine. And it's really a shock when people find out that Chateauneuf de Pop, the region, actually makes white wine as well. One of my favorite things is to find a white wine that can rival Chardonnay, and I think we found it in this glass. So this is Chateau Barville. They're a producer, a small boutique producer, making wine in Chateauneuf du Pop since the 1930s. And this house specifically makes a wine from the Roussan grape. If you haven't heard of Roussan, let's discover it together. So you have this deep golden color, which is really beautiful. It kind of reminds you of like, wow, this wine has probably seen some oak and had some age. It has that, you know, really intense yellow or golden straw color. When you smell this wine and when you smell the Roussan grape, you're immediately taken back to the color yellow. It's a yellow apple, yellow pear, almost like a bruised flower, or sorry, bruised fruit and yellow flowers. I'm getting ahead of myself. There's also an almond paste or nutty quality and a little bit of floral, which really rings true in this glass of wine. You can imagine scallops, lobster, creamy corn, and all the beautiful things that you would put butter on, and this would be perfect with this wine. Mm. Exactly what we said. Yellow apple, daffodils, flowers, almonds. It's a juicy, full-bodied glass of white wine that really reminds you of the southern part of France and the fact that this is a Mediterranean climate. You pretty much don't get better than this. 
If it's the Mediterranean sunshine that you crave, the French history, delicious wines made from a variety of different grapes, then you've come to the right place by drinking uh, Chateau Neuf du Pape. Both white and reds are equally delicious, and I'm so happy to have tried them with you. Even Rumi likes them.